Exercise 11C combines all the trig identities, which you're still trying to learn, with integration. So I think it's probably one of the hardest exercises there is. We start with the cot squared, and it tells us in the hint there to rewrite that as cos x squared x take away 1. Because if I want to integrate, then I can integrate this one here. Cos x goes to minus cot x, and the minus 1 will go to minus x plus c. Now the cos squared one, to try and do this one, you've got to remember the cos 2a formula. And I know there was a few versions of that one, wasn't there? The one we go for is it's 2 cos squared a's take away 1. And so the question here asks us to integrate cos squared x. And by rearranging this, by adding 1 to both sides and finding half of it, and we can integrate this thing here. So cos integrates to sine. The 2x stays the same. I need to divide by that 2 as well. Here I've got a half, which is just going to go to a half x plus c. There's that one. And for c, um, we've got the sine 2x cos 2x. So that looks very similar to the sine 2a formula, doesn't it? sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a. Now, instead of a, we've got two x's. So this is the integral of the sine of two lots of two x's, which is four x's. And we haven't got the two in front, so we've actually only got half of that. And now we can integrate that. So sine goes to minus cos, the four x stays the same, and divide by the four. So I've got minus one eighth the cos of four x. Um, let's try and do d as well. So we've got one plus sine squared, one plus sine x all squared. So we'll just multiply that out to start with. So we've got one plus two sine x, and then we've got this sine squared x here. So this one we're going to do in a similar way to we did up there. And remember that the cos 2a is also 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And so rewriting that whole integral, I've got the 1, I've got the 2 sine x from before. And then this sine squared here is going to be a half of um, 1 minus cos 2x. So integrating each of these things, I've got x there. The sine goes to a minus cos. I've got another half there, so I've got a half x. I'll combine that with the other one in a second. And then I've got cos going to sine 2x there, dividing by 2 as well. A half divided by 2 is a quarter. Um, and so just joining that together for a 3 over 2x at the end there. Can't quite see it, but I've got 3 over 2x minus the 2 cos x and minus the quarter sine 2x.